Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to do 3D tracking in 360 degree video. Now, as far as I know, there's really not a method or a workflow or a tutorial out there that describes how to do 3D tracking or a 3D camera track in After Effects for 360 degree video. So I thought I'd put together a tutorial for it. Now, I thought this was actually gonna be fairly easy. I just figured no one had done it yet. It's actually a very hard process, and but luckily I cracked the code and figured it out. Let's start off with our footage. It's footage of a car, and you can see the car. This is the equi rectangular version of it. And what I wanna track is over here we have this billboard. We can just track that, so if we wanted to replace the billboard or stick something else there, we can do that. I'm not gonna really get too into uh, the replacing of it, but because the main tutorial is just the tracking. So I'll be using Skybox Studio from Metal. It's really the only thing that you can, it, it's kind of a necessity if you're gonna be working with 360 degree footage in After Effects because it makes it so you can edit it and, and do things with it. So if I go to, it's a script and a plugin, um, so, I'm going to use the Skybox Extractor, which is the script. Um, I'm going to run that. And what it did is it created this edit layer. You can see where I can now um, kind of see what it looks like in 360 degrees. And then it also has an output layer. This is the layer that after you apply all of your effects to, this is what then is exported. Um, and here's the original layer. Now, one thing I've noticed that when you're tracking, it's easier with a method that I'm gonna show you to track things that are in the center. So since I'm gonna be tracking this, I want that to be in the center. I'm gonna to add to this um, the metal skybox converter. And I'm just going to let it input at the and output to the same format. But then I'm going to use this reorient camera to go in here and move it so that billboard right there is just right of center. See, now we are in the edit layer and it's there. So to do the tracking, I've got very specific things you need to do and you have to do them in very specific orders. So make sure you follow along. Um, and if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. And I'll try to take this nice and slow. So first thing is take face one in your edit layer. And what the edit layer is, is it takes, basically it created six different cameras and six different sides to create that whole uh, sphere look. And we have all these different layers for each side of the, the cube. So we're gonna take face one. We're gonna duplicate that. And then we're going to pre-compose it. So that's Command Shift C to pre-compose. Call this tracker. And make sure you move all the attributes, otherwise it won't work. Now you see how it shrunk down there. What had happened was I had pre-composed a 3D layer. So let's go into that and let's turn that 2D. So I just turn off the 3D layer of that. Okay. Now we're going to track this layer just with the camera tracker. Just select it click camera tracker and then we have to change some settings here from shot type we want to specify the angle and make sure that is set to 90 degrees and then let's go in and make sure we set detailed analysis on so that we're sure to have a good track now this is going to take a while to analyze and when it's done I'm just going to skip all through this so you don't have to watch it okay the track is all done it took about five minutes on my machine so it does take some time and as you can see, we have all these little track marks here as I, I just like 3D camera tracker. And let's move forward to a good spot. So let's um, add a couple of things. I'm gonna first, let's add in a, a solid. I'm gonna zoom in. And I want a good, nice flat triangle. You can see that target is uh, flat on that. I'm gonna right click create solid and camera and then let's maybe add one right here I'm gonna just create a null object right there and as we go through 
It looks like it's a pretty solid track. Now this isn't the best footage. It's really shaky. You can see there's lots of shakiness to it. So it's not going to be a really great track. It would be better if I had some more uh, stable footage. Um, but we'll be able to get the idea of what we can do with the 3D camera tracker in After Effects for VR footage. So now what we do is we take the null and the solid and that right here this 3D camera tracker camera and then this tracker layer all of those I'm going to pre-compose these all together so command shift C just name it tracked and actually it doesn't even matter I'm going to turn this off in this layer so let's go into this layer and this is now where things are going to get a little bit difficult and make sure that you follow these steps exactly how I do them <clears throat> so first Let's grab a new null object. Let's call that one track. I'm going to duplicate it, so Command D. Call this one reverse. Duplicate it again, and call this one base. Now, on the base null object, I need to come in here and where it says position 512, 512, 0, I want that zeroed out completely. Now the reason why I have this track null is I need to grab the tracking data from this camera because I want to use it but you, I don't want to have the cameras in here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this composition and turn it into another Skybox composition. So I don't want to have the cameras in there because Skybox uses a whole camera system and different cameras here and there and the camera I don't want it to screw things up. So let's grab the position of this and paste it in there. Make sure we paste it at the beginning. And the orientation, actually, I forgot to make these 3D. So these three nulls, make sure they're 3D. Okay, there we go. So position and orientation. Okay. Now next, let's go to the reverse layer. And under anchor point, I'm going to add an expression. So hold down Alt or Option click on anchor point and then just pick whip the position so I'm taking the position of the track and putting it into the anchor point of the reverse and then under position I'm gonna where it says 512 by 512 I'm going to again zero that out now at this point we need to parent the base layer to the reverse and you have to do this now in this order we can't do it at any other time now after that is there, let's go into orientation and we're going to add a expression to orientation. So option or alt, click on orientation. Type in value minus and let's pick whip the orientation from the three, well from the uh, track null. Now to this anchor point expression that we already have, I need to do a couple of things. First, I need to subtract 512 by 512 by 0, which is, remember that original position that was there? So we go minus, and in square brackets, type 512, comma, 512, comma, 0, into a square bracket. Okay, now to this, after we subtract the 512 by 512, and the reason why we do that is because when when we create a new skybox composition out of this, it's going to create a new camera, and that's going to be the center of the camera, so we have to kind of zero things out. Now we have to also add to this the original position um, of the tracker there, This all these numbers here. So we go plus, and then in parentheses, or square brackets, sorry, we want these three numbers. So start with negative 290, 55.9 comma 511.4 comma minus 779.6 and then end with a square bracket okay and everything should be good to go so let's do a, a quick test and how we're going to test this is we're going to go back into this main edit layer grab the skybox camera so this is the camera that's going to um, create when we create this. I'm going to just copy that, paste it in here, and that should now be somewhere else. 
but let's take this um, solid layer and parent it to the base. But before I let go, make sure you're holding down Option. So Option parent it to the base, and it should stick it right where it needs to go. And it looks like it's working good. So let's do the same thing to that uh, null object option and parent it to the base. And it's right where it needs to go. Excellent. So at this point, we can add some stuff to this. I can go in and create a new sign for that. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to do something simple. I'm going to add an element 3D um, object to this. Let's grab a new solid layer. Call this element 3D. And to this, I'm going to add my element 3D layer. Let's maybe add a big rock to this. So I'm just going to go to the starter pack, have a big rock. Let's make it a big rock. OK. Looking good. Click OK. Now it doesn't show up here because the camera's all in a, a different spot. So let's go to group, create a group null. And then grab this null that I created. I'm going to grab the position from that null, copy it, and paste it onto Go to the beginning of the composition, grab the position from the null, paste it onto the group, and then now let's parent this group again to the base. So parent, hold down option, onto the base. Excellent. There we have a rock. Let's actually move it so it's not right on. Let's go ahead and just move that back. Let me, <clears throat> let's make it look like the rock is stuck in the ground a little bit. So I'm going to go to the scene setup for that element layer. And in the same group folder, let's create just a plane. Make it nice and big. And let's move it down a little bit just so it cuts off the bottom. And I'm going to add to this, make it a matte shadow on the plane. OK, let's see it cut off the bottom there. And then if we go into the element layer, under render settings and add the Ambient occlusion. And we've got a bit of a shadow there. It's not the best compositing I've ever done, but you get the idea. <clears throat> the main point of this is to show you how to do, again, 3D tracking. So how do we get this onto the layer and actually use it for something? So what I'm going to do is, now that we've got this done, I can get rid of this 3D camera, the 3D tracking camera. Just delete that. And this background I'm going to turn off. Now what we need to do is, again with Skybox Studio, it's a whole suite of different scripts and plugins. So I'm going to go to the Skybox Creator this time. Click Create. And we're on Tracked, so make sure it's on Tracked. And create a Skybox Output. It'll run through the script, just take a second, and we'll have it ready to go. Okay, so now we've got this Skybox tracked output. Let's go to our, our main output, this one right here. Let's go back to our project. And then we go to the tracked output. I'm going to just drag and drop this right on top. And then there we have that rock that we just put in there. And that's all 3D tracked. And if I export this, then I'll be able to use it in, you know, like YouTube 3D video. 
So that is how you do 360 um, tracking, 3, 3D tracking, camera tracking, and 360 video. Now, there's a lot of steps, so let's just quickly go over them again. Remember what we did in this edit layer is we duplicated the front face, we, and then we pre-comp that, make sure we moved all the attributes, we tracked it, got a good track, and then we created the solid and the nulls and the tracker, the, the camera, and then we put all that into its own tracked composition. Now while in this composition, before we created the output, the skybox output, remember we had the track layer, the reverse layer, and the base layer. Now the key with doing this is that there are certain things you need to do um, to the reverse layer before you parent it, the base to the reverse, and there's things that you do after you parent the base to the reverse. And so it needs to be done in that order or it's not going to work. And then every time we connect something to the base, we connected, remember, all the elements that we were tracking in there to the base layer, we have to hold down Option to do that to make sure it moves to the right spot. So that's just a quick recap. If, again, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll get to them. And maybe, maybe this is something that Metal will decide this is a good workflow and they might just create a script to do this all automatically and then you won't need this tutorial at all. But in the meantime, you can follow the tutorial and get some good 3D tracking in for VR footage in After Effects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.